what do we see happening with with hog prices relative to input prices over the next six six months to a year, if you can speculate on that. Yeah, so again, beyond labor, we've got corn price, soybean meal price are key inputs in that system. And then, you know, barrel and gilt prices. Increasing number of our hog operations in the U.S. have a contract relationship tied to the pork cutout. So that belongs to this discussion as well. And then you can go all the way to retail pork, you know, prices like bacon items and so forth you're talking about. All of the above, every item I just mentioned, is subject to a broader inflation discussion. So every single one of those things I just gave you has a labor component, right? Um, they also have a, if oil gets more expensive, it costs more to drive trucks across our, you know, our big country and to get ships to go across the world and the like, and oil is getting more expensive. So economists are increasingly, um, maybe not just concerned, but becoming more convinced it's probably a we probably transitioned some from just being concerned. Uh, there's been less talk about transitory inflation, or maybe we're going to have inflation for a little bit longer. I've been concerned about that specifically because of labor for quite some time is why I'm belaboring it here. Um, but to answer your question a little bit more directly, I don't think we're done with the production cost aspects of any commodity business going up because there's a lot of inflationary pressures that are just pushing up commodity prices. Again, corn, soybean, meal, go down the list. They're the only one I gave us. Um, what's the relevance of that if you run a hog operation is, yeah, your hog prices might be higher, but your input cost and what it takes to produce that hog are probably higher. So we may or may not have a better net margin. So A, you need to understand that. Anything you could do be 1% more cost efficient pays off even more today than it did three years ago. So having an eye towards the efficiency and technical efficiency is probably never paid off more. It's the point of that comment. The second thing is the relationship with your banker. So your operating line of credit, you know, what are your annual discussions? And maybe, I hope more than once a year discussions, actually, with your financial institution that's supporting you have become more important because it takes more money to run the operation. So even if you're a break even or you know, plus $10 per head you know, kind of operation, it takes a lot more money to get that plus 10 bucks than it did before. So more money at stake, you got to understand that. Um, there's more and more talk about interest rates probably going to be coming up in the next couple of years. They're at historic lows. So if you're in good position, I encourage long-term refinancing assessments. It's not my job, so you got to do it, but you certainly should be looking at it. Um, that's a risk that's probably going to change coming forward. Interest rates go up. That changes borrowing costs. That changes the cost of running the operation as well. So uh, we're not out of the woods on these inflationary and just more generally higher production costs kind of being with us. And I think it's going to take more nominal dollars to run a hog operation or a packing plant or a seed stock. It doesn't matter where we're talking in the industry. I think it's going to take more nominal money. It might be deflated and be worth less in real terms, but more nominal money to run your business than it has in the past. 